In step three of exercise number five, the following actions have to be implemented to use pre-drilling operations when roughing the main pocket with iMachining 2D. For the purpose of this exercise, two examples of pre-drilled holes are defined. For the first example, define a small pre-drilled hole. In the Solid Cam Manager, right-click the iFinish Outside Shape operation and choose Drilling from the Add Milling Operations submenu. This will insert the drilling operation before the sequence of main pocket eye machining operations. The drilling operation dialog box is displayed. On the geometry page, click the new button to define the drill geometry for the operation. Set the radio button to pick position in the select centers by area of the drill geometry selection dialog box. In the SolidWorks graphics area, Pick on the center point of the sketch at the lower face of the main pocket, as shown. The geometry is defined. Click OK to confirm the geometry selection and display the drilling operation dialog box. Switch to the tool page and click the select button to display the choosing tool for operation dialog box. In the part tool table, select tool number 3, the 4 mm drill. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page to define the milling levels. Click the Upper Level button. In the SolidWorks Graphics area, select the top face of the target model as shown, and then click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Drill Depth button and select the lower face of the main pocket to define the drilling depth, and then click OK to confirm the selection. In the Depth Type area, leave the default selection of Cutter Tip so that the drill tip reaches the defined drilling depth. Switch to the Technology page to define the technological parameters. The standard drilling method of G81 is used for the operation. Name the operation D Small Hole. Then, click Save and Calculate to add the drilling operation to the cam tree and calculate the toolpath. Using the exit button, close the drilling operation dialog box. Then, double click the iRough main pocket operation in the Solid Cam Manager to open the iMachining operation dialog box. Switch to the link page and move to the pre drilling tab. Enable the Use Pre Drilling Operations checkbox and then select the previous drill operation from the list D small hole with a 4 mm diameter. When selected, the X and Y coordinates also appear in the Drill Positions list. Now, iMachining can use the data to perform automatic helical entry over the small pre-drilled hole. Click Save and Calculate to calculate the iMachining operation with pre-drilling data. Then, click the Simulate button. When the Simulation Control Panel appears, switch to the Solid Verify tab. Click the Play button to run the simulation. As you can see, the tool now performs a helical entry directly over the small pre-drilled hole, followed by the pocket roughing toolpath. Switch back to the HostCAD simulation mode and click the Play button to view the iMachining toolpath as a wire frame. Note that using a small pre-drilled hole as a helical entry point for an iRough operation dramatically reduces stress on the tool, and as a result, it can help increase tool life. Using the exit buttons, close the simulation control panel and the iMachining operation dialog box. Due to the data changes in the previous iRough operation, you can see that the iRest main pocket operation is no longer synchronized as indicated by the asterisk in the Solid Cam Manager. Right click the iRest operation and select Calculate from the menu. The calculation runs externally and resynchronizes the operation.